Hello, Internet! I'm Elliot the Purple Air Doofus, and welcome to Buddy Reads, where we read a small selection of a book and review it for you. Today, we are covering issue number seven of Fables by Bill Willingham. I hope you've read that issue yourself, because I do not want to ruin anything for you. So this takes place the next morning, with Snow, Rose, and all of the animals of the farm kind of circling around Colin's head in a pike. The mother bear from the three bears takes the head down, and Snow goes with the pig who was leading the meeting when she arrived at the farm. And they're discussing things, and one of the things that I believe I forgot to mention in the last video was the main leader of the farm, Wayland, he's no longer there. And so Snow is like, where the hell is he? The animals are like, he just quit. And Snow is like, I should call someone down at Fable Town to come up. And the pig says, why do you need to do that? We can take care of ourselves. You treat us like second class citizens just because we look like animals. And she says, no, Wayland was just the best man for the job. And the pig says, yeah, the best man for the job. Not pig or cow or dragon, the best man. You even listen to yourself when you talk. We then have Rose, who is talking with Posey, the other pig, and they're discussing going back to the Fable Lands and taking it by force, and Rose says, that's impossible, and Posey says, let me show you something. We then go into the woods with the mother bear, the father bear, and Goldilocks, and you find out that it was Goldilocks that put Colin's head on a pike in the middle of the square, so I'm assuming that Goldilocks was the one who killed them. Goldilocks is kind of a militant activist. <laughs> there are lots of jokes about her sleeping in the same bed as Baby Bear, not just because the bed is just right. Ha, <sighs> interspecial sex. Great! But they're talking about you know, overthrowing Snow and her government and taking it all down so that they can overthrow the Fable Lands again. And the animals are like, what's in it for you? And Goldilocks says, well, when you all flee, there's going to be a power vacuum and I'm going to be the one to fill it. I'm going to be the one in charge because after you all leave under Snow's protection, well, people are going to be mad and she's going to be tossed down. And who better to take over than me? And the animals are like, oh, that's fine. And then while she's discussing this, there's this sly fox who just happens to overhear it. And he's like, you're going to do what? And all the animals are like, Raynard! And he's like, ah, and he's running away. Then we have Posey and Rose and they are going down into this cave where it's just this giant, massive arsenal of weapons. Posey says, do you still think it's impossible to take Fable Lands back by force? Then we go back to the city where Big B is talking with Little Boy Blue about how the flying monkey got drunk and how he got the Forsaken Knight drunk. And they're talking about the last time that he got drunk. And then the Forsaken Knight begins to prophesy about a civil war between Snow and Rose. While Big B is thinking, that's no big deal, they've been fighting for centuries, I think it's leading up to something more. Then we go back to the farm, it's that evening, Rose sees Snow searching for something and she says, what are you looking for? And Snow says, I'm looking for my keys. And Rose says, you won't find your keys. And Snow says, how do you know? She says, I'm guessing you need your keys to get into your truck to drive somewhere else to make a telephone call because the phone downstairs is cut. And Snow says, yeah. And she says, you won't be able to leave. And she's like, what are you talking about? She's like, look around you, Snow. The animals have taken over. They don't want you calling someone back in. They just want to live their life the way that they're living it. And Snow doesn't realize that Rose is actually packing up her stuff. She says, where do you, where are you going? Rose says, I'm leaving and you should too. Then we go to the woods where Goldilocks has amassed a practical army of animals, but we mostly follow the animals from the Jungle Book and they are all trying to hunt down Raynard. And they get really close, especially uh, Khan and the panther, but Raynard gets away. And Snow is sitting in her room and she's looking out in the night and Raynard comes up and he says, Snow, you have to get out of here. You have to leave. Don't pack anything. Don't take anything with you. Make, make them believe that you're coming back, but you have to leave now. They're all after you. And that's where the issue ends. Haha, <laughs> intrigue. The the one thing I don't I don't like is that they've already revealed the killer of Colin. I would have liked them to have stretched that out a little bit longer. But yeah, this is getting really good now. 
<laughs> the whole intrigue between Goldilocks and the animals and Snow and everyone else is just, yes. And the whole civil war between Rose and Snow, it's like, yes. If you like what I'm doing, go ahead and click that subscribe button. If you like this video specifically, go ahead and click that like button. And go ahead and leave a comment letting me know what's the most intriguing story plot for you so far. Because right now it's a civil war between Rose and Red. That's gonna be good. I've been Elliot the Purple Air Doofus. This has been Buddy Reads reminding you to watch your pajama radius. And I will see you all in the next issue of Fables by Bill Willingham. Toodles!